Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Allie. I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Tonight I'm going to be unboxing all of my subscriptions for the month of July, and this is going to be a long one. I'm just going to warn you, so I am going to have timestamps down below by each subscription, as well as a link to sign up if you're interested in that subscription, the cost of the subscription, and my value for my July box or bag or whatever it is for each one. Last month was my first month smashing them all together into one video and although it worked out better for me, the editing was a total train wreck. And so I'm going to try to change that up a bit where it's not so intense and so long. So I'm just going to insert the products on the screen and their value and all of that so that my footage isn't like so long because I'm looking up products and trying to figure all that out. So all of it will be on the screen for you guys. The products, the cost of the products, the subscription, the cost of the subscriptions, all that information. If you don't find it on the screen, you can find it down in the description box or comment down below and I will answer at my best judgment or my best knowledge. <laughs> So before we get started, I wanted to mention I unbox my face Tori, which is a sheet mask subscription every single month towards the beginning of the month. I will have that linked at the end of this video, but I will also link it right up here so you guys can check that out. That is one subscription that I've already unboxed. Every month I'm going to be having my Sephora play in this video, but this month Sephora launched a Sephora Luxe box with more luxurious products and Monday I put up that video and I included my July Sephora play. It'll also be linked up here and at the end of the video if you guys want to check that one out. Besides that, all of my subscriptions I'm going to unbox for you guys tonight. I'm not trying anything on. This is just to show you guys what I got this month in a subscription, a little bit about these subscriptions if you want to sign up values, cost, all of those, the reasons why I like them, and yeah. But products that kind of stick out to me that I think would do good in a video or that I am interested in showing you guys, I will be trying them out on my blog or here on my YouTube. My blog is always linked down below in the description box as well. And the last thing I want to mention before jumping into the first subscription is I also have my Live Glam Morphe Me and Kiss Me subscriptions, but I will not be unboxing them tonight because I am still waiting on my Kiss Me ones. There was a little bit of confusion on my account. I had, I guess, skipped this month when I really wanted those lip products, so I'm getting them, but they're a little late in the month. So I'm just going to throw my Morphe Me and my Kiss Me into another video at some point. All right, so we're gonna jump right into Ipsy this month. I have been just so busy this month that I barely have even went through my subscriptions or seen them. That's why I haven't been able to get all the prices and all that for you guys. So like I said, I will just have them on the screen. But um, I will talk about each subscription just a little bit. Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription. You get four to five full size and deluxe sample size products. This month, once again, on the outside of my bag, I got two sheet masks. They're exactly the same, but how you see, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce this brand. It is their Caffeine Rush Nourishing Sheet Mask. Like I said, I will have the prices on the screen for you guys, but there is two of them. I love sheet masks. I do think it's crazy that I keep getting them at Ipsy. I do get face story, so I do get a lot of sheet masks from them, but I'm always down to try out other brands of sheet masks, so I'm still excited about these products. Um, once you open the bag, which the bag is super cute, it looks like this, kind of has like a holographic type design over the blue, and I really like the zipper this month. The card is, I honestly don't know what the theme for this month is, this is what the card looks like, just says ready to dive into summer, your five glam bag picks pool ready makeup bag and a ton of inspo on the ipsy app are here to help you make a splash so let's go ahead and see what else we got so the first product i pulled out is from it's a never heard of this brand before this is a single eyeshadow in the shade changing to flats pretty matte like dark purple shade 
super pretty. I have gotten a lot of single eyeshadows lately from subscriptions. I need to get another Z palette so I can just start squishing them all in a Z palette together. But that looks like a very pretty shade I'll have to try out. I'm kind of getting fall vibes from it. The next product I'm excited about, this is from Wonder Beauty. I really like Wonder Beauty and I'm pretty sure I remember that I was going to get I don't know, I thought it might be my BoxyCharm. I think I'm getting another Wonder Beauty product in my BoxyCharm this month. This is the Wonder Beauty Glotion. So it's a lotion illuminator. It is kind of like a lighter, like gold color. I want, I'm sure once it's blended out more, it'll look pretty good. It does kind of just have like a sheen to it. But yeah, expect this in a future video on Wonder Beauty products because I do have a few that I wanted to show you guys. Next product is from Mellow Cosmetics. I really like Mellow Cosmetics. I've only tried their lip items and just like Wonder Beauty, I'm actually going to be filming a Mellow Cosmetics video soon. This is one of their lipsticks. I have one other lipsticks and then I have one of their liquid lipsticks. But their regular formula, I love. It actually reminds me a lot of a MAC lipstick. This is the shade Candy Floss, and it is super duper pink. Like, very, very hot pink, out of my comfort zone, Barbie pink. But it is super pretty. Yeah, expect that in a future video. And the last thing, which I think is absolutely crazy, is a full-size Smashbox concealer. This is their Studio Skin 24-hour waterproof concealer in the shade Fair. You guys know I'm excited about that. I always get shades that are way too dark for me and that will work really well. Yeah, that is it for my Ipsy. I will go ahead and throw on the screen the total value of this month's bag, and then we'll go ahead and jump into the next subscription. All right, up next, I grab my Ricky's Colt Crushes. This box looks really big compared to what it normally is. And we have the loose crinkle paper, like usual. All right, we got our little card that shows you your items. I don't have the prices on this card either, but I will throw those on the screen as we go. So the first product this month is from Smack Beauty. It says Bathos Lashes Volumizing Lash Serum. I am super excited about this product because I have been wanting to try out a lash serum for a little while now. So I'll do a blog or a YouTube video or something on this soon after I start trying it out. I love the packaging on this. I'm kind of getting a cross between like the balm and benefit fills to this packaging. It's super cute though. And this is what the serum looks like. You kind of want to see the applicator. It looks like a very, very thin eyeliner applicator. I'm not really smelling anything. That's probably good. You don't want it to smell like really chemically. The next product is from LA Splash. This is one of their Wickedly Divine liquid lipsticks. Ooh, that's exciting. This is the shade 911 Death Dealer. Oh wow, look at the packaging on this. So this is what the applicator looks like and this just looks like, oh, that's really cool. It's one of those like triangle type ones, kind of like the Smashbox always on. But this is like a fuchsia purple, like it's a fuchsia and like purple mixed color. I don't know, with that name, Death Dealer, I was kind of thinking that it would be like more of like a red or something like that, but we get reds all the time in subscriptions, so I'm happy with this. The next item is also from LA Splash. This is the Vanishing Potion number 33, waterproof makeup remover. It looks like this. Oh, okay, so this is just the packaging. And then it's actually like in a dropper bottle. That's really cool. It kind of has like an ombre that goes down to green, but all the liquid, it's the actual bottle. I really have a smell, which again is probably good. I really like that packaging though. The next product is by Glamazon. This is a blush. The packaging looks like this. And oh, this color though. So this is a blush that is very intense for a blush shade. This is the shade Raspberry, and it even has like a little mirror up in here. The packaging on this is really cute. I've never heard of this brand before. And the last product is from Ricky Care. So this is actually from Ricky NYC. Um, this is their Backstage Travel Cleansing Wipes. So this is just a small pack of them, but it still feels pretty thick, like you get quite a bit in this. So there's 10 in this. Those seem like pretty thick 
uh, travel wipes. All right, that is it for my Ricky Skull Crushes. Again, I will have the total value of this box on the screen. This box is $14 a month. It used to be $11, it is $14 now. They're trying to step up their game more. To me, it kind of has the same feeling as Ipsy with the products you get. You get deluxe samples, you also get full size, and it's kind of just like those same vibes, but this one is $4 more. Next, we're gonna jump into Yes Oh Yes. Each month, they switch it up depending on what products they have. Some months you get it in a box, other months you get it in shiny envelopes like Ipsy. Yes Oh Yes is, I believe, $15.95 a month. I will have that in the description box. But they are really stepping up their game. In the beginning, I wasn't sure. I'm actually an ambassador for them, and I have a coupon code that I will put on the screen for you guys. When you guys use it, you will get 10% off your first box. The cool thing about this is every single brand that I mentioned that I unbox, you can use the code YES. I will have on the screen. It's just YAS, all caps, and you can get 10 to 20% discount when you buy something on those websites. So let's go ahead and get into this. Their card this month is Summer in the Desert, which is super cute. It has like cactus on it. And then they actually have all the products and the prices on the back. So I will let you guys know as we go, but I will also put the total retail value of this month at the end of unboxing this one. All right, so the first one is by Surme. This is their natural lipstick. This retails for $22 and looks like this. The packaging is very like elegant, classy. I really like how the cap is like clear at the top and has like their Sorme like symbol on it. The color is pretty, but it is like one of those metallic, so it kind of has like that shimmer feel to it, and I'm not really into that. But this is the shade 233 Bliss. The next product is an eyeshadow palette from IBY. This is Desert Vibes. It has 12 colors in it. This palette retails for $25. This is what the packaging looks like. I absolutely love that Yes So oh Yes has become like all full size products. And not just that, they've had a eyeshadow palette in their subscription box every single month lately. So that's awesome. This is what the palette looks like. I'm going to set this aside for a video so that I can do a first impressions on this. And then of course a palette review on my blog. There is a mirror up here that has writings on it. It says you are more than beautiful, desert vibes. I have used a couple of things from IBY Beauty, but this palette looks very interesting. All right, moving on, we have the Purse Mineral Lip Liner. I've never heard of this brand either. But this is a smear proof lip liner. I really like that shade. It's kind of like a nude color. Yeah, that's a good nude. It's like a darker, like brownie nude, but would go so well with so many colors. This retails for $23. Next thing is from GV, and it is an exfoliating face wash. And I got the lemongrass one. So this is really cool. My only, and it's a good size, but my only downfall with this is there's product in the cap like it's been used or like it was a tester. It is kind of like a, looks like baby poop almost. <laughs> it does have like a stronger like lemongrass scent to it. But yeah, I will definitely try that out and put it in a skincare blog. Hopefully this doesn't do anything weird to my skin because I've never heard of this brand before. This retails for $18. And the last product is from Scone. And I would originally be mad at this, but I have their black eyeliner and I really like it. They have a really good black liquid eyeliner that I got in a subscription box, but I actually really like the formula of it. This is another one of their insanely intense tattooed eyeliners. These retail for $19. I have this exact one, but in black. This one is in the shade Lum. So it is a pretty dark purple once it is applied though. Maybe it'll brighten up when it dries down a little bit more, but I'm not bummed about this product. I'm glad that they switched it up. It's not a black eyeliner. Again, I will have the total retail value of this box and all of that on the screen. Next, we're going to jump into BoxyCharm. And like I said, I believe there's a Wonder Beauty product in here. So I'm super excited about that. We have our little card here and it is boxy charm road trippin 
This is from Dr. Brandt and he has some of the best skincare, I swear. This is the Needles No More, No More Baggage ID Puffing Gel. So this retails, BoxyCharm also includes their prices. This retails for $42. It is very thick and it's like a red, not red, kind of like a pinky, like orangish red. It's a weird color, but it it's really cool. I'm really intrigued by this. It reminds me a lot of the Becca under eye primer that I just recently tried out. That video will be linked up here if you want to check it out. But yeah, I'm excited to try that out. I deal with a lot of issues with my under eyes, so that product is very exciting. All right, the next product is another product that I'm going to set aside for a first impressions. This is from Crown Brush. Now I've had some issues in the past with some of their palettes so that's why I want to try this one out. I've seen people creating beautiful looks with this so I'm really hoping that this one is not a dud for me. This one is their Fuego eyeshadow collection. This retails for $29.99 and it is an eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. It is really pretty. The pan sizes are really big as well, especially for that price. But like I said, I've kind of just gotten bad vibes from this brand and I know that I shouldn't judge the brand. I think one of the palettes, it was really pretty. It just really wasn't me. And that's why I think that I've just never even done like a palette review on it. I need to get it out, but I, I haven't done a palette review on the other one that I have either. I'm just kind of torn on both of them and they just really weren't palettes that I reach for. I feel like this is way more up my alley. These shades are very, very pretty. So yeah, I'm excited to at least try this out. It did come with a little protection sheet in there with a strong magnet. And this is what the front looks like. It says Crown Pro and of course has their little crown symbol. And it did come in a little carton as well. And this next product is from Wonder Beauty. This is their Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I am loving this tube packaging for mascara. I believe Ico has some mascaras like that that I wasn't really a fan of. And this looks almost identical to that mascara that I wasn't a fan of from Ico, but I don't know this formula, so I'm excited to try it out. Again, this one will be in a first impressions with other Wonder Beauty items, but this retails for $24. Next, we have Note Cosmetics. This is a Luminous Silk Compact Blusher, so another blush this month. This is the shade Desert Rose, which excites me. I'm really hoping that this is a more wearable color. Little box looks like this. I have heard of this brand, but I don't have any products or I've tried any products from it. It actually looks pretty sleek. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. That is definitely more of a wearable tone of my tone <laughs> that I really like. It also comes with a little brush in the back that I don't really use those, but the concept is still cool that it kind of goes up. This blush retails for $11.99. We have Chella Beauty. This is an eyebrow cream. It is in the shade Taupe. In my Anastasia pencil, I'm in the shade Taupe. Benefit, I'm shade 2. So I don't know if this is going to be close to that or not. Do you like the concept of this though? You take the cap off one end and then the product unscrews out of the other end. So it's kind of like a pomade, which is really cool. Something that I will try out, but I am just, I don't know, that looks pretty dark. So I don't really know if that's going to work for me or not. That retails for $26. That is it for BoxyCharm. We'll have this month's box value on the screen. I did not mention anything about BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is $21 a month. They also have discounts if you want to purchase three months in advance, six months in advance, or a full year. You get $100 Plus, a lot of the time it's almost like $200, if not more than $200 in products for even $21 a month. It is bomb. You get four to five products some months, so you get six though. And they are all full size. And a lot of the time they're brands that are well known of, that you know of, so it's really cool. BoxyCharm is hands down one of my favorite subscriptions. But the last subscription for July, besides my Life Glam, is my Allure Beauty Box. This box is $15 a month. It is created from Allure Experts, and 
I have been, I actually got this box because of a product that I was really wanting to try out before I bought the full size. That's why I signed up for it. But then I've just continued to keep it because I've been amazed by this box. Right after that, they did a box with Kat Von D, which was amazing. After that, the products in the next box were really great. I think my, last month's was like all right, but yeah, I've just really been loving it. This is the pamphlet this month, and it has all of the products throughout it that you received. And it does have the full size prices, so I will let you guys know those. And usually they have discounts, so if there is any discounts, I will have those on the screen for you guys while I'm talking about that product. So the first product that really intrigued me on this one, I have seen some sneak peeks for this month's, is the Sunday Riley Luna Retinol Sleeping Night Oil. I've really been wanting to try this out, but it's a little bit on the pricey side. The full size bottle of this is $105. And it's a really good size bottle and facial oils will last you so long. But again, it is pretty pricey. This is the size that I got in this box, which is cool. I'll be able to try this out for a while, see what I think of it. I know I need more retinol in my skincare routine, so yeah. But ever since this has came out, I love Sunday Riley. They are pretty pricey, but they have amazing skincare products and I've had my eye on this. So I'm excited to be able to try this out before purchasing the full size. The next product is from Phil Harmony. This is a rose petal facial mask, ultra concentrated toning gel. So this is what my sample looks like. The full size comes in like a little tube and it is $55. And I don't know if I've tried this brand or not. I've tried so many mask that it's not even funny but I really appreciate the sample how it has a screw on lid after you put some on it is like a clear consistency it smells good too it's just kind of like a a fresh floral scent but after you put some on if there's leftover which this is a good size there will be you just put the cap back on and you can just reuse it I really like those samples the next product is from Dose I really like Dose too. I have some items from Dose, so I'm kind of wanting to do a full Dose, Dose video soon. And I really like their eyeshadow. I've got one of their eyeshadow palettes in a Fab Foot Fun. I've gotten some of their other eyeshadow colors, and I've always really loved them. But I did get a Ultra Precision Eyeliner in the shade Blue, which looks really fun. We'll swatch this by this purple. That purple is pretty dark now that it's dried down too, but there's the blue. It's super creamy and pigmented and so bright. I'm excited to play with that eyeliner. And this is a full size and it retails for $22. The next item is from Derma E Essentials. This is their mineral powder. This is what it looks like. And this is sun protection mineral powder with an SPF of 30. My sample just looks like this. I am interested to try it out. The shade really doesn't look too bad, so I might have to give it a go. I'm always down to have more SPF on my face. <laughs> this full size has like an attached brush to it, which is really good for just kind of like patting on like over your makeup. You can also use that brush to pat into like your roots so like you don't sunburn your scalp. But the full size price is $21.95. The next item is from Way. They have amazing hair products. I haven't tried too many. I think I've just tried a few samples. This is their leave-in conditioner. So this is what my sample size looks like. It's a pretty good size sample. The full size is only $26, so that's pretty good. It is just kind of like a sprayer. It smells really good. Kind of has like a perfume scent to it. But yeah, I have been loving my leave-in conditioners and just leave-in products lately. They have been amazing for my hair, so I will definitely try that out. The next product is from Makeup Forever, and I've actually been meaning to buy these to do a full first impressions on because I was just so intrigued by these. This is their Artist Color Pencil. So this is the shade Full Red. This is just a sample. The full size of these retail for $18. The cool thing about this product is that it's a universal pencil. So they have all kinds of shades. You can use this as a lip liner, an eyeliner, or even a brow pencil. And I think that is such a cool idea. I'm going to have to pick up a couple more of these and do a full first impressions on it because I am very intrigued. But I got the shade Full Red. I will swatch this. It is like a very true 
cool tone blue red and yeah I think the whole idea is really cool they have all kinds of different shades for brows they have tons of fun shades for like your waterline for different eye looks they also have tons of neutral and just gorgeous shades for lip liners so yeah I'm excited to try this out and the next product is from the organic pharmacy I absolutely love the organic pharmacy I haven't tried too many of their products but they're eye and lip cream I just use it for my eyes but it is to die for they're a little bit more on the pricey side when it comes to like the eye cream but I absolutely love it and this box I got the antioxidant lip balm so soft and smooth with shea butter and rose hip to keep lips soft I can say I don't it doesn't feel like there's like a whole bunch of product in this so that's kind of a bummer the full price retails for $21.50. I don't know if this is the full size or not, but I really do like this brand. I've gotten amazing results with that eye cream. And I also got a bonus item this month in the box. It is a sample of the Olay Regenerist Whip Light as Air Finish. So this is an active moisturizer. I actually seen Desi Perkins rave about this on her Instagram and the and her insta stories so i'm excited to try it out it is just a little sample to see what i think about it cool it's kind of like a gel moisturizer but it's at the same time it almost looks like a blurring primer consistency like when you look at it but then when you fill it it's just like a gel moisturizer it smells really good like it smells like a conditioner like a hair conditioner like you know those salon conditioners that kind of thing like very just fresh it doesn't really like have like a certain scent to it it's just kind of like fresh or like a drugstore conditioner that's it smells like that all right that is everything for this month but yeah i'll have everything down below in the description box and on the screen like i said thank you guys so much for watching i'm sorry if this was super long but yeah i will see you guys in my next video